What's up, wave makers? It's Mommy Tsunami here. We're back for another anti MLM subreddit review. That was weird. <laughs> Let's do the damn thing. Before I start, though, um, the last video I uploaded at the end of the video, I was sharing uh, some of the stuff that you guys sent me in my PO box. Um, a couple of small business owners that I think need to be shouted out, and I shouted them out at the end of the video. But I like to do them first, just so that everyone clicking on it knows they exist, because only like half of you guys make it to the end of my video. So <laughs> Victoria. Victoria, aka Prismatic Rose, sent me this delicious smelling artisanal soap, handmade. I kept it wrapped so I could show you guys before I use it, but now I'm definitely going to use it. Uh, so definitely check out her shop. This is the time in our lives where we need to be supporting small businesses, and damn, I have a thing for soaps, okay? <laughs> I love going to like craft fairs or the state fair or like any kind of fair that has boots and finding the one person who's always selling handmade soaps and I will buy all of it. Like, <laughs> I love this shit. Um, and obviously there's no craft fairs and trade fairs and stuff going on right now. So this little surprise in my PO box was a lifesaver. And I can't even describe what it smells like. It's just good. Like it just smells good and clean. Anyway, link is in the description below to this small business. So please check it out. And then also thank you to Mariah, AKA Mariah Draws Things. She has an Etsy shop too. She sent me this cute sticker. Oh, I turned my autofocus off, sorry. But it says not interested in your business opportunity. And I just thought the artwork was really cute. So her Etsy is mariahdrawsthings.etsy.com. That is also gonna be linked in the description below for all your art needs. <laughs> yeah, check them out. Out. If you're looking for any good small businesses to support, I definitely think that the two things that they sent me were quality and maybe you should check it out too. Let's support actual small businesses and not people who think they're business owners when they're really not. They're just working for a million dollar company. Okay, top post this week. The title is just same. I will sell Coke before I sell Arbonne. <laughs> There's not much more to say. As sarcastic as this tweet probably is, I mean, you definitely make more money doing that. Selling Coke, I mean, not selling Arbon. <laughs> One is significantly more profitable. Waste their time. She's missing out. These are my favorite ones. Hi, how would you feel about earning a little extra money, X? I'm okay, thanks. I earn enough selling meth on the side. Okay. Do you want some? No, thank you. <laughs> It's a hell of a drug, man. I don't know, I've never done meth. Don't pinpoint that shit on me. I think last week we talked about someone who was like, this is a really good way to get the Huns to shut up and get out of your inbox. I think this one is even more effective. I think the other one was about like lactating. Like, oh, your, your products made me lactate. This one's pretty good. It's like, no, I don't need extra money, I sell meth. <laughs> I mean, but people like to swap people for fun these days, so maybe don't do that. Ooh, this one is marked as a discussion. This girl I met once in college, UK, sent me like six voice messages explaining how her product could make my anorexic ass lose weight. Oh no. I was just looking through the comments to see if we could hear any of the voice messages, but I'm not seeing it off the top of the first few comments. Anyway, oh bless, I've been anorexic for like four years and I've been trying to find something that will help me lose the last 80 pounds. My therapist said it would kill me, but fuck them. Thank you so much for providing me with a group of people who will help me lose the last of my body fat so I can finally starve to death. I hope you get yourself out of this MLM and they're clearly taking advantage of you and all your family and friends. That's dark. Like, that's not even funny. That's dark. What is it with the Huns and approaching people with eating disorders these days? You know what? I think it, it comes down to a lack of awareness as far as who they're messaging. It goes back to like, hey, maybe don't cold message people because you never know what they're going through. It's not that hard to go on someone's profile and like look at pictures of them and know that they don't need to lose weight. And even the people who do need to lose weight, maybe they fucking don't. Like, you don't know them. You don't know their health. You don't know what they're going through. You don't know if they've been doing something for a while that works for them, you know? It's just really gross that this seems to be a very common theme for the past few weeks. And it's honestly disgusting. Uh, pretty sure you should be washing your rags more than once a month. Washing my Norwex rags today after a month of using them and boy is the water dirty. Uh... I want to die. <laughs> That's disgusting. A lot of you guys have asked me to talk about Norwex. I think one of you guys at one point told me, was it a teacher or a boss? I think it was someone's boss. And they're working somewhere that requires things to be clean. And they just use the same Norwex cloth for everything. And they're like, they messaged me being like, what do I do? This is disgusting. How do I make it stop? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Like, that's gross. Now, I don't know much about Norwex. I know that they claim to have like the super clean fabric or whatever the fuck. I don't know how it's supposed to work. I've never 
looked into it. From my outside perspective looking in, it looks like a bunch of fucking quack science. And looking at this picture, like that's gross. There's obviously shit on there that needs to be cleaned off more than once a month, bitch. Holy moly. My comment on a post in a buy and sell group this morning, swiftly followed by 10 plus reps desperately fighting for their place in the market. In search of Sensi rep, bars, room spray, car scents. You can get all these items for cheaper by supporting actual small businesses instead of pyramid schemes which exploit vulnerable women. Try Etsy. Hey, Etsy! <laughs> this video is sponsored by Etsy. No, it's not. I feel like everything that Scentsy sells, you can buy the same exact products with the same exact quality for way cheaper from a million different sources. Sensi exploits vulnerable women. MLMs exploit vulnerable women and people in general. Let's just not do it. Those wax melts, you can buy them at Walmart and the Sensi people always say they're so much better with Sensi. Bitch, I've tried Sensi. I have bought Sensi a few times in my past and they are no better than the Walmart shit. I'm telling you, they are no better. I don't care what you say. They might be like, oh, well with Walmart, they use different ingredients and it burns into your air and then you breathe it and it's like fuck you i've never used their room sprays or car scents but hey like bath and body works has great car scents i have one in my car right now they're fabulous and they last a long time room sprays try some fucking febreze like i would much rather support febreze a billion dollar corporation or i don't even know what they would be considered but yeah i'd much rather support them because at least they're paying their bottom you know minimum wage to work in their factories and shit since he can't say the same for their distributors oh shit we got another hunopoly <laughs> the fastest money losing game rules on the bottom oh god this has been circulating for a while the whole monopoly the mlmopoly is what they were calling it now it's hunopoly let's just read through the rules because this is the first time i've seen someone make actual rules for this every time you pass go give $200 to your uplines <laughs> land on as many MLMs as you can trade MLM cards by saying hey hun go to jail if you land on caught by FTC <laughs> When you land on the free car, convention station, starter kit, and free trip, you pay $100 to taxes because your company wrote it off in theirs. The more times you land on recruits, your override rent doubles. You get paid $200 for every time you land on sales and inventory, but you can only keep 10% and give the rest to your uplines. When you go bankrupt, your uplines get your team and you can't get refund on your inventory. You go bald when you land on Monate. <laughs> It's just a beautiful thing. I think at this point, like so many people have contributed their ideas to the MLM Monopoly series and I think it just needs to be made. And who who owns Monopoly? Hasbro? I don't probably. I doubt they'll be the ones to do it, so someone else needs to do it. Sure we all see Huns doing rubbish like this way too often. The blindness is real. Hi guys. I just quit my role as a purple status presenter for Unique Cosmetics. For those who don't know, purple status is kind of a big deal. If you don't believe me, here are some of my top makeup looks on Instagram. Pretty stunning, right? But the makeup quality is awful. I've lied to make sales. Upper management told us they were working on improving products, yet never did. I felt so ignored. It's almost like Unique lied about its mission of empowerment and took advantage of women's aspirations of business ownership, practicing a top-down model where most people barely profited, if at all. Nah. Their mascara's just trash. You should work for eye queens. I'm now a gold level makeup girl there, and it's literally changed my life. Link in bio, please subscribe. I had high hopes for this person until the last frame there. <laughs> they all just happen to do this, don't they? Leave one MLM, hop on to the next one. It's just sad. And they'll all say, our MLM is different. They all say that, don't they? Someone needs to compile like a post of just like every hun from every MLM saying, this is an MLM or ours is different or some shit like that, but they're all the same. <laughs> they're all the same. You can hop from one to another, but um, no, it's just the same shit over and over again. Speaking of unique mascara, can I just say that like, okay, so I obviously used the 4D mascara uh, in my anti-MLM or tries unique video. And while it applies kind of all right, like sort of decently dude and i didn't get to include this in the video because i just like hopped off and i was like that's fine um no over time throughout the day it just sheds onto your face like I, by the end of the day i have like raccoon eyes like 
black smudges all the way down my face just from Unique mascara just flaking off. Yeah, it's not great. Even though it applies okay, it doesn't stay on your face the rest of the day. It's really, it's bad, guys. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, another Sensi one. This just screams of desperation. Hey everyone, I really need your help. I have been challenged to sell $500 this week. If I sell $500 this week, not only do I get to throw a pie in my sponsor's face, but I get to eck her husband too. He doesn't think I can do it. Who wants to help me make this happen? And yes, there will be a video when this happens. This is not going to happen. <laughs> Dude, cause Sensi is not that expensive. Like you have to make a lot of sales to sell $500 worth of Sensi in a week. But I like never understood this. Like what was it? The ice bucket challenge for, was it ALS? Is that what it was? All these people were doing it to raise awareness. And I, and I think that the goal was achieved in the way that I didn't know what ALS was before. And now I know it exists. However, I didn't watch any of the ice bucket challenge videos because I'm like, I don't care about any of this shit. Why are you guys doing this dumb shit for attention? I don't want to say it's kind of the same thing because at least the ice bucket challenge like did spread good awareness about something that people should know about um this is literally just like i don't want to watch you throw eggs at someone's husband that i don't know i don't want to watch you throw a pie in the face of someone i don't know like who wants to watch that no one fucking cares oh no we had several mutual friends from college so i accepted her request less than 24 hours later she messages me dun 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 hey girl can i ask you a quick question sure I'm just starting a new business with a health and wellness company and my team is giving away $50 via Venmo to three winners this Friday. Would you be willing to post a status for me, tag me, and I'll enter you? I would appreciate it so much, but no worries if not. Thanks a million. What company? It works. It's a health and wellness company. Oh, I've heard of that, but I thought it was a pyramid scheme. Ha ha no. Our company has been in business for over 19 years. 100% debt free. We have over 40 products non-GMO, soy-free, sugar-free and plant-based. All but three of our products are vegan. I'm a network marketer for them. Oh cool, do you mind my asking if there's a salaried or hourly position? Not at all. So as a market network or I market for it works, and instead of them paying for commercials or advertisements, they pay me to market the products for them instead all through social media. I just show others how amazing the products are and how I work from my phone and then make commission off of the items purchased off my website. It's seriously such a blast and has changed so many lives. Well that still sounds like a pyramid scheme to me so I'm gonna have to decline. No problem. <laughs> and then she doesn't even argue it. She's like, yeah, no problem. You think it sounds like a pyramid scheme? I'm not gonna try to talk you out of it. <laughs> Her excuse makes no sense anyway. Instead of paying for commercials and advertisements, they pay me to market the products for them, but they don't pay you. They pay you like $10 a month, only if you spend $100 a month with them. <laughs> so yeah, they don't pay you shit to do that. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Filing my weekly unemployment claim and notice this. During the week, were you self-employed? Answer yes if you're self-employed or operating your own business. Answer no if your business is a corporation. An owner of a corporation is an employee and must report hours worked and wages earned in any week services are performed answer no if you are selling Avon Amway Tupperware etc this is normally considered employment and you would report the income as work and wages however if you feel this is self-employment answer yes and the department will contact you for further information answer yes if you're operating your own business answer no if you're selling Avon or Amway <laughs> oh wait I thought they were business owners these People. I don't feel bad about my response. What is your favorite Tarbon shake flavor? Mine will always be chocolate covered strawberries. Mine is a blizzard from Dairy Queen with tons of Reese's peanut butter cups. Hashtag living healthy. One of these days, someone will send me an Arbon shake that I can try. <laughs> chocolate covered strawberry protein shake doesn't sound great. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, here we go. This is like a repeat of earlier. This is a Primerica post. Meth would probably be a step up. I'll probably sell my mom meth before I sell whatever Primerica sells. Primerica sells life insurance, but more importantly, they sell the opportunity for financial freedom, don't they? Yeah, and like 
debt reduction programs and shit like that. I don't know. Primerica is super sketchy. A lot of you guys asked me to talk about Primerica and it's just hard because it's just a really complicated and like convoluted company. I mean, I could talk about it, I guess, if I really sat down and researched it, but it's one of those things that like, I feel like I would go down so many rabbit holes and it would take me so long <laughs> to get information put together about Primerica, but damn, I hate Primerica. I really do. Someone I used to talk to years ago reached out to me. It was nice catching up. So I recently met some people people who stepped out the job world 30 years early and built a friendship and trust with them. Now they're coaching and mentoring me to get similar results. You're following the script really well. Good job. Very much like an independent business owner who sells someone else's products at the prices they dictate to people who aren't really your friend. Unfortunately, I've heard this one about 10 times already from people who are still doing much worse than I am, and I don't want to put myself in debt and sacrifice all my relationships to support a predatory business model. But remember, even though you're at the bottom of the pyramid, you've got a CEO mindset. This is usually a script that Amway pushes, um, and I found this out because of you guys. <laughs> when my daughter was young, oh, she's still young, but when she was like a baby, um, I used to take her to a baby dance class, and one day I was talking to one of the moms there, and she said the same exact thing to me. She was just like, oh, yeah, we met a couple who, they're 30 years old, and they're millionaires, and they retired, and they're mentoring us, and I was like, great, good for you, and then never talked to her again, uh, and then I just like came on YouTube and talked to you guys about it, <laughs> and uh, every single one of you who knew, who had heard it before, you know, said it was Amway. So meh. this script is getting so old like the moment they start saying this we should all know what it is I feel like it's just so overused like get a new fucking script. Bye. Oh, this is a post from the MLM boss babe on Instagram That's a great Instagram page I'm sure we're all following them already But if you're not get in there bitch because the MLM boss babe is one of my favorite anti MLM uh, Content pages on Instagram. Anyway, if I did not ask you about weight loss or health products Go ahead and stay the fuck out of my DMS with all of your weight loss crap. You so socially inept witch. <laughs> How did I miss this one? Yeah, I mean it just goes back to whatever trend is going on within MLMs right now where they feel like they need to just assume everyone is unhappy with their weight in one way or another. Like, can we just stop? Someone posted this one in my Discord today and it's just absolutely infuriating. <laughs> Jesus was the original hun, apparently. You know, Jesus loved perfume and being anointed by Mary before his death. The book of Esther also promotes beauty products. It's why I love selling Avon. You can buy from me at yourraven.com. This is why I love selling Avon. Yeah, because Jesus really, really wanted people to buy his 40 mascara. Like what? I know Avon isn't unique. I, I know that. I don't. I just don't know what any of Avon's products are. No, this is bullshit. I don't know how accurate this is, but I think there is some mention of like oils in the Bible somewhere, but not like Young Living essential oils. You know what I mean? I don't know though. I haven't actually looked into that for myself. I'm pretty familiar with. A lot of biblical stuff but I don't really know exactly where that lies in there people just say it all the time so I don't know I just really wish people would stop bringing religious terms and aspects into their businesses like this like at the end of the day it is absolutely preying on very naive people who want to know Jesus and will go oh well if Jesus is a part of this company then I want to be part of this company you know it's just a way of manipulating people and it's really fucked up Monet trying to be sneaky and changing their name Ugh, modern nature relaunch party well I mean Monet has always been in modern nature put it together you get Monet and I feel like I've seen that box before like the we are modern nature like I feel like they've had that box for a while I don't think it's a new thing dude I mean I wouldn't be surprised it would honestly honestly be a smart business move on their part because so many people are starting to learn about Monet because if you search Monet on Google you're gonna get like lawsuits and shit popping up everywhere but if you search modern nature no one's suing modern nature they're just suing Monet it definitely would be a good business move on their end but we're on to you Monet we know exactly what you're doing and we will make sure that if you go through with a change like this we're gonna make sure we blast it from the rooftop so everybody else knows too. Hi. Here, just peek your little head in and that's it. Hi. <laughs> She's not wearing clothes. <laughs> I love these Spongebob memes. No one. MLM huns every day. My mind is blown with this company. <laughs> it's just so stupid. They do all say that, don't they? It's not the same as every other company. This is different. It's like, oh, shut up. Just meme the hell out of a girl trying to recruit huns at my university. Oh. Hundreds across the country say Monate shampoo caused balding scalp sores. Please do your research before bashing a company that was originally created to promote hair growth in chemotherapy patients. This is simply not true. 
those lawsuits were not successful as they were not accurate. Also, this article was written and handled in 2018 girl. Done and over with. Hey hun, I did do my research and that's why I posted what I did. Did you know that the company you work for is an MLM, also known as a pyramid scheme? Sales representatives literally go into debt buying Monet products and not being able to resell all of them. The only people making money are the people who own the company. So fun and fulfilling to try to work yourself out of debt by dragging others into this pyramid scheme. Not to mention, Monet sues people who speak out about the adverse effects they've experienced using their products. And don't even come at me with that people who grow their hair after chemo with Monet. I searched high and low for any clinical studies backing up this claim and voila, there are none. Believe it or not, after chemo, people are able to regrow their hair themselves. Crazy. Done and over with, girl. This is all I'm going to say. Learn the difference between a pyramid scheme and an MLM. Pyramid schemes are illegal and literally have no real products, aka a scam. Nice talking to you. MLMs are the same as a pyramid scheme, changed my mind. Do your own research instead of parroting back what you hear at your Monate house party training sessions. Nice talking to you too. As recruiting multiplies, recruiting becomes quickly impossible and most members are unable to profit. As such, pyramid schemes are unsustainable and often illegal. Pyramid schemes have existed for at least a century in different guises. Some multi-level marketing plans have been classified as pyramid schemes. <laughs> oh, by the way, they really are brainwashed. This is, I don't have much else to say, except yeah, like this person literally just said the same shit they're taught to say all the time. Okay, you guys, on, on Wednesday, I got a freaking banger of a video coming for you. I did a interview with an active Monet distributor. She was amazing. She was really fun to talk to. I'm really excited to show it to you guys, but even she agrees. Like I brought up the whole thing. Hey, the lawsuits, they sit here and they go, those weren't successful. Like, no. And I, I go into it in, in a little more detail in a video that's coming out in a few days. They are so uneducated on this and it's like mind-blowing to me. It seems like something you should be educated on, right? Like you should know that your company didn't actually win any lawsuits at all. That is not the case. It is not true. We're gonna leave it there, guys. That was a fun run today. But now it's time to thank my patrons. The biggest thank you in the world goes to MK, Michelle Matthews, Irene Nordeed, Amanda McMahon, Corey Allison, Diane McIntyre, Maria Burchett, Molly Wasilewski, Whitney Gregory, Katrina Rosmerick, Elizabeth Wyatt, Sarah Hennemuth, Jackie Waple, Daniel Urena, Jenny Ruby, Oren, April Limbaum, Bobby, Ashley Nichols, Tuesday the 13th, Justin Kelsey, E. Higgins, Muir Family of Seven, Savannah Krakowskis, Maddie, Brianna Coulter, Boris Gallagher, Meredith Nakata, Rachel McHenry, Desiree Lopez, Matt Douglas, Molly Bresson, Vandis Closet, Kim Cartwright, JP or Gino Schaefer, Maddie Darley, Kelly Crefield, and Real Fly Realize, and to the rest, of course, of my wonderful patrons, and to you also, if you're here, whether you're a patron or not, thank you for being here, thank you for being you, and, um, you know, I always appreciate you making it to this point in the video. <laughs> Make sure you check out those Etsy stores if you're still here, the ones that I mentioned. By the way, I'm not sponsored by any of them, and none of them even asked me to do this, but I think it's important to support small businesses. So those Etsy stores that I talked about, the links are in the description. Go check them out. With that being said, keep making waves, babes, and I'll smell you guys later. Mommy Tsunami out.